What's up? It's the Lit Leaks. It's your boy TJT Elite to be exact. Tori J. <laughs> hey man, it's been a long time coming. We just wanted to reach out to y'all and give y'all an update as far as the wedding. Yeah, so we were supposed to do this video a long time ago. Our wedding was last May. Last it's May. now January. Yeah, we're, we're behind. <laughs> but hey, we uh, we just, we talked to each other. We want to make a commitment to give y'all content as much as possible. We're shooting for every week. So thank y'all for rocking with us. Make sure y'all subscribe, comment, and share. Uh, that's the reason why we're gonna keep doing it, man. A, a lot of people have reached yeah. out to us. So. A lot of people reached out asking about our wedding at Heart Rock. How was it? They have a lot of questions about the prices and the overall experience. So we wanted to just give a little recap Absolutely. on our experience. So we had our wedding at Heart Rock Cabo. Um, it's one of the newest resorts in Cabo. I think it was when we had our wedding, it was like two years? Yeah, two years. It year was, and a half? Yeah, and then also they were shut down for a while because of COVID. Yeah, COVID. So it was, it was basically a brand new resort, so. Yeah. It was brand new. Um, we chose it because, well, first because of the perks that they told us we could get based on how many people we would have. Yep. Um, we also chose it because it was all inclusive, it was new, seemed fun. Yeah. Um, it wasn't adult only, which we thought that's what we wanted because we usually go to adult only resorts. But they do but, have an adult only pool. Yeah, so they have so like that's adult only amenities. Exactly. So we thought it was, it was a good choice and it was. It was um, great. It, it was, was. So like the whole experience of wedding planning, of course, is stressful. It's very stressful. Basically, when you have your wedding at Heart Rock, you have to work with their corporate team in Miami first, and they don't really respond to you a lot until it's almost like two weeks before your wedding. So of course, as a bride, you're stressed out, you're trying to reach out to them, you're trying to communicate, make sure everything's okay, and then they won't respond to you for like two weeks. So that was really stressful. Um, basically you get your coordinator in Miami and you go through like what you want, you choose your package, um, you choose like all the little decor items that you want and they basically outsource through different vendors. And so you're, you're communicating with them and the vendors that they contract with and it's, it's kind of a headache. And so basically they just, they, they ask you what you want, they reach out to them, get the quotes, they come back to you, you, you say yes or no, or I want this, and it's just a lot of back and forth. Um, it was worth it though, it was, it it was, was a good time, it was a good time. Yeah, we, she was going we, through it though. <laughs> yeah, that was the most stressful experience ever. Yeah. Um, so, what else? Um, basically, we, we finally got everything we wanted like maybe two weeks before the wedding. We finally locked in the quote, we paid for it, everything. Um, and then we got all of our people there. Um, and we had like 90. We had 97 people, 97, yeah, 97 people total. People. But yeah, so basically we had to be there, I think three business days before we got married. Yep. Um, so our wedding was Saturday, May 1st. We had to be there by Wednesday. Um, we got into a little <laughs> at the airport. Yeah, we missed our flight. So uh, only because we were a little late to check in our bags. Yes, and when so you're flying international, you cannot uh, you fly cannot fly without, without your, your bags. bags. Yeah, you have to be with your bags at all times flying. So we basically missed the cutoff to get our bags checked in and get on the flight. So we missed the flight. We had to get another flight. We got to Cabo later than we were supposed to. We missed our little welcome thing that they yeah. had for us. So we got to Cabo like at night. Um, we turned up from there. Yeah. <laughs> we, it was, we were stressed out. So yeah. it's like, oh my God, let's do something. Yeah, so um, Heart Rock, they have a, a lot of different restaurants. Um, yep. They have like Italian, a steakhouse, Asian, um, what's the other one? Kind of like Middle Eastern, yeah, Middle I Eastern. think. And then yeah. they have like the American buffet. So we went to Italian the first night. Mm -hmm. It was pretty good. Um, all the Don Julio you can drink. <laughs> yes, it was all inclusive. So everything, everything. was all inclusive. So. Um, 
And so that was Wednesday night. It was really just us. And then the next day, more people came. Um, so our friends and family started to come in. We, yeah, Thursday. Yeah. I don't remember what we did. <laughs> we were supposed to go out. She didn't make it. <laughs> yeah, that's when everybody got there. Yeah, she didn't make it out. My dad, that's probably my dad's favorite day. Oh. <laughs> she, she, no, what happened was we were trying to make a TikTok video where you oh, like, yeah. where you take shots and like. You do the little dad thing and then. You take the shot. We'll probably put a link somewhere in here. But yeah, so what I should have done was what my best friend told me. I should have just put water in there because who would know? But Who's gonna know? So we just kept How taking, they know? we kept like doing different takes of the video. But we were so actually taking shots. What happened? Yes. So it, we were supposed to go to ride ATVs, I think. Uh, yeah, I didn't want to do that. And we, we didn't make it because our friends started to come and we just didn't want to leave. So we stayed at the resort. Yeah. Um, did we go to the lounge that night? No, we were supposed to go to the lounge. And uh, yeah, we were supposed to go to the lounge and she didn't make it, she was asleep. So it's like, cool, I just jumped in the bed and went to sleep too. So the next day, Friday. Friday. That's when like <laughs> everybody started yeah. to come. Um, what did we have planned Friday? I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember. Let's go to Saturday. You no, to Friday was when we had the boat. I thought the boat was Saturday. Yeah. Oh no, so the boat was planned, Friday, yes. We planned yes. a catamaran for everybody. Yes. Um, we basically set it up beforehand and we got all of our guests to send their money beforehand for the boat. We had to get two boats because, because of that. their COVID yeah. restrictions. We had too many people. Um, yeah, so we, we booked with Cabo Blue. Thank you. Um, what was her name? Amanda. Amanda, thank you. Cabo um, Blue, thank you so much. Yeah, they were really good. They were very accommodating. Very we nice. ended up booking them for Sunday too, yeah. um, because it was just a great experience. Yeah, so um, a lot of our guests, how many, I can't remember, I think they had like 60 people who booked um, for the boat. Yeah. So we went on the boat Friday during the day. It was a really good time. It was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy. It was a really good time. And we also had the welcome party that night. Now listen. Which we probably should have separated those yeah, two events that was not because good. some people did not make it to the welcome party and we end up having to pay for them. So I'll tell y'all this because it, it hurt me. So if you don't have all your guests come to the welcome party at Cabo Hard Rock, you have to pay the balance. So I had to pay $1,500 because people did not eat and drink. Uh, they didn't, they, show, up they didn't show up basically. Yeah, they didn't make that clear, they did but not. basically it's somewhere in the contract that says it's one of those like you like when you provide when you provide the number of guests, they also count it for the welcome party and if those guests don't show up, you are responsible for you know, their plate basically. Yeah. And we didn't know that. Um and so some people of course they didn't make it to the welcome party that night mm -hmm. and I guess they were taking count, so we had to pay. And also, they will not let you off the resort. Even yeah. if you have a, a flight, they will if not let you, you off the resort before you pay that balance. Yeah. So keep that in mind, people. Yeah. Um, that was the worst part. I, I was I was really upset, but yeah. anyway, Saturday. <laughs> Saturday. Saturday. Well, Friday night after the welcome party, we didn't we go out. We went to the their club. Oh yeah. Wow. wow. We did a lot. Yeah, so we went to yeah, Hard we Rocks, Rock their Rock's lounge Club. that they have on the site. And, you know, a lot of people went out party too. Yeah, we had a good time. And then Saturday, Saturday was the wedding day. Saturday was wedding day. Um, yes. We woke up early because, well, me and my bridesmaids, we had to start getting our makeup done at like 8.45, I think. She kicked me out the room, so. We didn't have another room to get ready in. Yeah. Sometimes they do provide that for brides, but I think you have to tell them ahead of time. I thought our room was gonna be, I don't know what we I thought. Were I thought they were, get, they, we were supposed to get an upgraded room. To the hard rock, well, rock stars. Rock suite or rock something like suite, that. So yeah, you'll have space to do that. Thing. Yeah. But. <laughs> Things happen. Um, yeah, so we had to get ready in our room. So TJ went to one of his friends' room, rooms. Um, 
So yeah, I brought my makeup artist to Hard Rock, basically. I didn't do it with their their team. Um, and so she started to do our makeup at like 8.45 and I had... The wedding started at four. Yeah, I had eight brides for me. Yeah, eight, something like that. Seven. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it took a little minute. I was the last one to get my makeup done and she also did my hair. Um, and so I don't think I started to get ready until like three. Um, Look at the party crasher. <laughs> but yeah. It's okay. Um, so, so, so what were you doing? So I woke up and she kicked me out of the room. Then we went to, we actually went to the pool. So we went to the pool, the adult only pool. Uh, we had some mimosas. Oh, first of all, we had a wedding rehearsal that morning. So wedding rehearsal was really quick, uh, really swift. Uh, it lasted probably five minutes and then we were back to enjoying ourselves. Um, you know, it's not that hard to walk down an aisle, separate yourself about six, seven feet, but, and then, you know, make it happen. But uh, after that, we went to the pool, we had some drinks, talked to friends, family, told everybody, hey, don't get too messed up, you know, we got a wedding to do. So um, after that, we went to shower and get dressed. All of my guys met up in one room. The photographers came, the videographers came. Shout out to my boy, Day, my boy, Chris Day, man. Daydream Media, they were on point, they were professional. Yeah, we, uh, we got them to come out from They came from North, North Carolina, Carolina, from Durham. Uh, shout out my boy, Double J, my, my DJ. He's the, the best DJ on the East Coast, maybe the best DJ on the, in the world. So uh, shout out to both of them for coming out, man, to uh, just bring North Carolina to Cabo was crazy. Uh, but yeah, so uh, Dave, Chris Day was on, on set. Um, they came to our room too. Oh, they we did? Were, it. Yeah, when we were I getting ready, they took some shots. They took my dress out to like the beach to get some shots, yeah. my rings, my accessories. They got some shots of the bridesmaids. We had a dope photo shoot. I'm gonna put the link to that video um, probably right here. So uh, yeah, I'll make sure I click that link. But yeah, they, they were on point, we took pictures, and then next thing you know, it's go time. It's time for the wedding. Let's make it happen. <laughs> so um, we were told to be on site at four o'clock. We showed up at, at 3.50. So, no, so of course we wanted the wedding to start on time. Everybody knows most weddings don't start on time because yeah. the bride isn't ready. So I was, I think she started working on my hair and makeup by like three, I wow. want to say, or two, I don't it was know, worth like, it, like 2.45. You were amazing. But yeah, so then at like 3.45, the Hard Rock, one of the Hard Rock wedding coordinators like started to rush us, like trying to get us out like, oh, it's starting, it's starting, like, okay, but you I'm can't not start ready. Without like, you. Yeah. So my bridesmaids, like everybody's rushing at this point. My bridesmaids are trying to like get me in the dress. They're trying to like make sure my hair is okay. I got all my accessories on. It was just like really rushed at that point because I thought we were good on time up until like three and she was just like rushing us rushing us like oh the wedding's starting the wedding's starting and then my bridesmaids are getting frustrated with her and like saying nothing is happening without her so period <laughs> and we weren't we weren't even that late the thing about it was we were just finishing my hair and makeup trying to get my dress on but then we had to walk through the lobby to where we were having the wedding at. So it took a little time. So we had to like get on the elevator, walk all the way through the lobby, all the way to the other side of the resort. And then they went one way, I went another way. I was actually there for a minute, but I guess they had to make sure the music was starting, everybody was in place. And I was like, like standing down in a stairwell for like a minute or two or maybe more until they actually got started. So I don't think we were that late. You know, I don't think well, 420? It was about 420. Um, so I'm gonna, go, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna say it from the other person's perspective. <laughs> so, uh, but the good thing about it, Cabo's weather isn't that bad. Like it's probably gonna be like 70, 80, but it's like a, a West Coast vibe. So 
it's not going to be humid and, and you're going to be good. So everyone's sitting in the chairs, but the sun did start beaming like yeah, on, so on everybody's we, head directly. We chose Toon Terrace. Toon Terrace, yes. Heart Rock Beautiful. Cabo. Um, because we knew we didn't want it on the beach. I didn't want it on the beach. Um, so we chose a terrace where you could still, like, you had a good view. You could still see the ocean. Um, so it's basically like a rooftop. Kind of. So when our guests were sitting down, they were like, the yeah, the sun was, was just beating on our heads. Yeah. So, um, yeah, they, we made an executive decision. Everybody could come to the shaded side of the terrace. Uh, we had water over there and everything. So it, it worked out perfectly. Um, if I could change anything, I would change like the position of the heart player. We had a heart yeah, player. Yeah, so we had a heart player. Um, my mom really wanted like a lot she of did. music. She did. Um, so she got the heart player that we got it through Heart Rock. We just requested it. Um, but they put him in the back. Yeah, of like the, the back menu. corner. So you couldn't really see him. Um, of course, I saw him when I walked in, but that's pretty much it. Um, so it is one complaint. Though. Yeah, I would have like uh, just moved him to probably like the, the, sh the like front, the, the shade front. area. So when yeah. people coming in, you just see him playing the harp. That would have been dope. Um, but yeah, hey, you know, things happen. Yeah. But the wedding was a success, man. So, you, so what okay. were you doing? So y'all waited. We went waited. To the area. Yeah, we went to the shaded area. Uh, yeah, and then we were told, well, you know, I had to start mingling with family and friends. You can't, you know, it's just, it's, it's what I did. So, um, yeah, then we were told, hey, they're on the way. So everybody got back in place. Uh, we were ready, you know, and then the, and we started. I feel like it, it went by really fast. It was so good. Um, oh my gosh. And it's like all the stress and all the weeks that you put into planning is is for 10, 10 minutes. Well, you know? kind of. But then, really so cool. after the ceremony, we took a few pictures in the terrace and then they took to, well, yeah. me and TJ down to take some, some we shots to, with, they have, with just you, us. What's and, the name of their uh, photography? No. No, nah, we booked them through the Hard Rock, but they were great photographers. No, well. we didn't. We oh, didn't book them through. I booked the photographers separately. Somebody else, somebody I found. Oh, never mind. Sorry. Um, just because I heard some things about booking through Hard Rock photographers, like some people were saying they were too expensive. They didn't uh, provide quality work. So I found this photographer. I think just searching through Google. I want to say. They were dope. But she was good. Yeah. Um, so they took us down to take pictures while everyone else went to the cocktail hour. So our reception was at Serenade Terrace. Yes. So that's like a larger terrace, um, kind of, it. you can see like the ocean. It's like right in the middle of Hard Rock. Um, and it's right, it's by like their like event hall mm -hmm. thing. Yeah, so Serenade Terrace is nice, it's like wide. Um, but they they blocked off some of it for our cocktail hour. So that's where everybody was. Well, we took a few pictures around the resort. Um, and then we came back in and got ready for the reception. The reception was crazy. <laughs> it was lit. You guys got to watch the video for yeah, that. That was the best part. The best part. It was it was it was dope. My uh, mother son dance was crazy. Her daughter. Mother daughter, daughter dance. Yeah, mother daughter dance was, was crazy. <laughs> It was it was a wild time, man. Me and my dad got to set it out again, as always. Um, it was it was it great. Was good. Now, for some details, people ask me about like how was the food? How did you do the food? Mm. Um, basically, with the like with your wedding package, it already comes with the meal. Yep. So you just choose like different options for your guests. So basically you choose, I think it's like soup and salad and then two entrees yes. and then a dessert. dessert. Um, so we chose stuffed chicken and salmon. Fish. Yeah, salmon. I think it was salmon. Um, so basically we had to get our guests orders before we got there so that they knew like how many plates yeah. to make of what. So um, basically we, when we sent out like a online form for our guests to fill out and let us know what they wanted, if they had any allergies or anything like that. We also put like, um, they can choose like different songs they wanted to hear during the reception. So we did that in like an online Google form. Yeah. Um, and then I printed out what each guest wanted cause they had, they had to have like their name cards with what they ordered on there at the table. So I got those from Etsy and I created all of those and got them printed. She did a lot of work. 
Yeah. <laughs> um, I also brought like the table signs. I bought those off Etsy. Um, we had like white and gold table signs. We had um, a cocktail. We had our signature cocktails. I made that yeah. sign. And just so you guys know, you don't have to book everything they tell you to book. Yeah, With the resort, you can expensive. bring your stuff. It's yeah. very expensive. You can bring you can your bring own, own stuff. Absolutely. Um, so I brought like basically all the smaller signs. We had a memory table. So I printed that sign and we had like frames and photos of people we wanted to like remember. Um, I brought like a few, I brought my bridesmaids uh, flowers just because I didn't want to buy those through their florist. They were too expensive. Uh, my mom and I got those in Atlanta and we shipped, well we didn't ship them. We brought them over in our check bag. Um, uh, I'm not sure. What a lot. I, we bought um, welcome bags for all our guests. Oh, yeah. So I had different things in those. I, think I made a post about it. Um, but like little kits for them, like Advil. The hangover kit, basically. Hand sanitizer and yeah. stuff like that. Um, I think that's it. That's it. So the next day, uh, everyone started to leave. You know, well, some people some started people, to leave. Yeah. So the Most next day, of them. Yeah, Sunday. A lot of people left Monday too, but Sunday we plan like just to sit by the pool, you know, eat yeah, and relax, stuff. Yeah. Um, so we, we did it at the adult only pool. We got a few cabanas and we were out there for a couple of hours. Yeah. yeah. And then we had, we went to dinner. Oh. We tried to do like a family we dinner. We did do a family dinner, yeah. Uh, we went to the, the restaurant, I think it's called Apanina. Apanina. It was pretty good. Yeah. Oh, they wanted to know about the food. Like, how was it? Like, oh, the food was pretty good. It was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as like all-inclusive restaurants, it definitely. At, well, as far as the restaurants we've been to, yeah, uh, it was pretty, pretty good. up. Yeah, it's yeah. up there on the scale. <clears throat> yeah, I know. I've seen like some people say they didn't like it. Maybe it depends on when you go. Yeah. But we thought it was pretty good it was for all-inclusive. But Sunday night, oh my gosh, <laughs> we went to Crush, my favorite club in. Cabo, they treat yeah. you right every time. Go to so, Crush, yeah. right downtown. So you downtown. went to downtown Cabo Sunday night. It was crazy. You have to get a taxi from Hard Rock. Now, Hard Rock is a, a little ways from downtown. Very far. So. Well, probably 30 minutes. Yeah. But it takes so long to get off the resort. Exactly, exactly. Because it's like a huge, it's like, it's almost like a. I feel like they like charge a, more for the taxis than anywhere else too. The taxis right. were, it was like a hundred bucks. Um, to get there, but when we got to Crush, everything went downhill. It was crazy. Uh, they have Casa Azul for I think how much was it? Two fifty, two hundred. I think it was like two hundred bucks uh, per bottle, and we we overdid it. My friends are crazy, and um, yeah, it was a long night. That drive back was we drove back. Well, we had a taxi back, right? And it was like. 15 people in the taxi. <laughs> yeah. It was a good time. Though. Some people met us out there. Yeah, it was a good time. Yeah, it was fun. What other places are there to go downtown? Oh, uh, you can go to Mandela or something like that. Yeah. Um, They were taxing on the on the sections though, so I didn't want to go there. Um, Oh, you have uh, Squid Row. Is it Squid Row? Yeah, yeah Squid Row. Yeah. It's Squid like Row three floors. Um, It used to be crazy before COVID. Uh, this time it was it was empty. Not gonna lie to you. They try to charge you when you first get there, but just say, "Hey, I'm I'm good. I'll walk. You know, I'll go somewhere else." And then they'll let you in for free. So uh, that's how you gotta play it. But yeah, Squid Row is definitely a dope spot to go to as well. What else? I think that's about it. But they're all the, close to each other. Yeah, like, you can see the clubs places. across the street from each other. So it's, it's dope, dope experience. Combo was just nice in general. Um, if y'all get time, make sure you go check out Breathless, uh, right downtown Cabo. It's a, a nice resort. Um, it's right there on the marina, so it's a, it's a nice vibe. What else in Cabo? The ATV spot. What's the ATV spot we had a good time at? Cactus. Cactus, yes. Cactus Tours or something like that. Shout out to them, man. We had a good experience the first time we went to Cabo with them. Uh, took my mom for her 50th birthday, so, uh, oh, sorry, mom. No, you probably didn't want it. I took her for her 45th birthday, you know? Um, but yeah, so, what else? Cabo is a good time. Cabo is a great time. We're getting kind of lengthy on this video, so what's some, some of the questions that they ask you, like specific questions? 
Did you did you hit them all? I think so. Yeah. Most people ask like about bringing your own decor. How's yep. the food? Okay. Um, how much did you spend? Oh, um, I guess. Thank you for watching the video. Let's. You want to tell them how much everything was? Um, I think it was sixteen thousand. Everything. For like our bill with with Hard Rock. Oh yeah, with Hard Rock. Ah, I don't know. Yeah, I think I just looked at it. I just told somebody. See? I think it was sixteen thousand with Hard Rock. So a lot cheaper than the states. But then, but so we had to pay for our videographer. We had to pay for our videographer, photographer, DJ. No, we just paid for their rooms. Um. And then I had to pay for some decor. I thought we paid way more than that. No. I thought it was like 27. No. What? No. With Hard Rock, our bill was 16000 Then we had to just pay for other things like our DJ and videographer's rooms, um, our wedding planner, and the decor. And... I think our number is a little low. No, it's not. But, but yeah, I just, man. I just looked at. Thank y'all so much. The, I just looked at the spreadsheet. Oh, okay. Yeah. So we just had to pay for like our extras, but with Cabo, it was like sixteen thousand. So money's missing. Oh, okay. <laughs> but yeah, so we're gonna wrap this up. Thanks for watching. Let us know if you have any other questions about our wedding experience in Cabo at Hard Rock. Absolutely. And keep watching. Keep watching. Like, like comment, comment, subscribe. subscribe. We are going to give you guys content on content on content. We promise y'all. Um, but yeah, like she said, thank y'all for watching. And like we See do all. Next time. Peace. <laughs> cool. Good job.